Welcome to the Rayar Program's Sounding Diagram Options Analyses Data tab. All features shown are available to the Rayar Basic Program. First, we'll use the Options menu to display the Sounding Diagram Options panels. And remember that the Sounding Data tab controls how the sounding profile is plotted on the diagram, but the Analyses tab controls how the associated text data is presented on the screen. Text data are normally displayed here, but they are currently turned off. Now we'll activate the classic display option. And with the apply button, the standard set of analyses data are presented in the upper right section of the sounding diagram. Now let's turn on the optional European indices, where the Boyden, S, and KO values are added to the text display. Next we can turn on the energy and helicity parameters, which are now added to the text listing. And finally, there's the fog indices, which are added to the bottom of this listing. If you need to see the diagram reference lines within this text region, you can activate the transparent font option, like this. But we'll just go back to the original display for now. While the Help button can always provide information on program controls and displays, there is another quick way to find information on this text listing. First, close the Options panel, and then position the mouse over the text listing and right click. And there you have a complete descriptive list of the displayed parameters. Now with a right click, we'll recall the options panel and mention the custom data displays option. When activated, it gives the user complete control of over 100 parameters, including their list position and data units. This powerful feature is covered in a separate custom data displays video but for now we'll just stay with the current classic display. Notice that all heights are displayed with MSL units. By using the heights options we can change to the AGL units like this. The same goes for data units which are currently set to metric values. If we change to the English option then the displayed data units change to feet, inches, and mile per hour values. The last options box for potential temperature is unique in that it does not apply to the displayed text listing. Instead, it applies to the cursor's parcel data box. In order to see this, we first need to access the panel's format tab, and then click on the cursor data's parcel option, and then close the options panels to populate the data box with mouse movement. Notice that two potential temperatures parameters are in Kelvin units. If we now right-click to recall the Options panel in the Analyses Data tab, we can change the units from Kelvin to Celsius. Upon closing the Options panel, we can now see the potential temperature units have changed to Celsius. That completes the Sounding Diagrams Analyses Data tab video. Thank you for watching.